you guys, your age group as well. So this is an awesome school, and we all know Sensei Jerry is awesome, but I'm here to introduce you to my boss, okay? His name is Assemblyman Joe DiStefano, and he has a special proclamation um, resolution that we passed in New York State, and he's going to explain it. And he's going to present it to Sensei Jerry. So how about we give a right. round of applause? All right, guys, up to your feet. All right, go to attention stance. Let's bow to our guest. Courtesy bow. Bow shows. Good. Turn face your family members because they're sitting there. Courtesy bow to your family members. And let's give the family members a big hand for bringing you here. So, as my chief of staff said, my name is Joe DeStefano. I'm the assemblyman in the third assembly district, who's just a little bit south of here. And last month in the state assembly, we pre we presented the state with a um, an idea that we want to make April, which was last month, anti-bullying month in the state of New York. This resolution that I prepared with my staff was to recognize the fact that it's not okay to bully and it's not okay to be bullied. So we wanted to make sure that you understand that if you're a bully, you report it to somebody. If you're in school, you report it to your teachers. You want to make sure that you're taking care of school. That is your safe place. School is supposed to be your safe place. So uh, what I'm here to do tonight is to give Sensei Jerry, this resolution that, to, to recognize that April in the state of New York is anti-bullying month, and you guys should all be proud of what you're doing to recognize the fact that you're trying to protect yourselves in case of that situation arises. So give yourselves a big round of applause for doing that. And thank you for being awesome. So, Jerry, thank you. Thank you for teaching these kids. And... <laughs> I want to recognize the parents as well. Um, I'm proud. Uh, Anthony and I go way back into the fire department when he belonged to Medford, as I still do. And uh, I, was, I hope that when things were back in the day when I was going to school, that this would be available. And unfortunately for me, it wasn't. But it's a lot of things that we learned through the years of going to school on what it is you need to do to protect yourself. And thank you for recognizing that you need to prepare your kids for that situation in case it ever arises. So thank you for doing what you do to protect your own children. And, and that's something we all need and we all can learn from. So thank you for doing that. So thank, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, yeah, guys.